Hi, this is Mr. Davis back with SketchUp on the web. Uh, as you can see, I have my shed here. Zooming in a little bit. I'm going to take the pan tool and see if I can get this a little straighter. There we go. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to move it a little towards the middle. And then let's flip this whole drawing. Okay. Like this. Now we can see directly above. And this is going to be handy for me because I would like to draw a small piece of land to put this shed on. Let's go over to my border. Let's bring a rectangle in. There we go. And now what I'm going to do is I am going to take the move tool, bring this into the center, and let's draw a little bit of a garden around it. So sometimes you want to go out to the side and come back down like that. We can adjust this later on. Okay, it's not always easy with the uh, pan tool to get this exactly how you want it. That's about it. And I'm going to go back my offset tool. Put a little bit of Put a border that I can turn into some stonework. So let's flip this. Okay. And let's see where we are. Let's take this just a little bit to the side. Now I'm going to zoom in. And what I'm going to do is draw one more rectangle. I want this to say on, on face of shed. So that I can bring this out. Let's try this like this. Take the line up the way you want. Then we can just do a little bit of movement here on edge of shed. There we go, exactly what I wanted. Okay, so now what I'm going to do here is uh, take this just a little tad over. There we go. And what I'm going to do here now is we're going to go over to our materials. There we go. Now I'm going to go back to search. And we're going to do landscape fencing vegetation. Let's grab something that looks like grass. We'll put it in there. Uh, I'm going to erase one of my lines in right here. And then what I'm going to do is we're going to go looking for some uh, brick cladding and siding. Right in here, we got a really nice brick that we can use. And last but not least, let's go back down here and see this material that kind of looks like mulch. Okay, so now what I think I can do, let's zoom out a little bit. Let's get our uh, okay, everything looks nice and even. So let's use a push pull tool to make it look a little more realistic. So what I'm going to do is take the push-pull tool. I'm going to make myself a step. Okay. Just like that. Now, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this stonework. Let's make that come up a little bit. And just bring this up just a tad so it looks like a walk. So there's a lot of things that you can do here. We could bring this up a little more if we want. we go. And now everything looks kind of normal. So that gives it a little bit of a good look. Let's pan around. Okay. Now you could change this a little if you wanted. You might want to take this and bring it out. Okay. And then what you could probably do is we could take this right here. We'll get that midpoint. And that will allow me, I don't know if I quite drew what I wanted. There we go. We got a little more of a bit of a double step. I want to work with some of these. Them exactly where you want them. Looks pretty good right there. So now we got our shed. We got a little bit of green around it. It's a little better. And what we're going to do in the next video is we're going to come in and we're going to work with the uh, components. 
and we'll try to actually put some uh, shrubs and some uh, bushes in here to make it look realistic, a few trees. Okay, thanks, that's Mr. Davis, and that's part two in building our shed.